Welcome back everyone in this series we are going to build a block with Django. So let us see what we are going to build. This is the front page. It is called Galaxy. And let me take you through what it can do. In fact, let me list it first and then I take you through what it can do. We will be able to create, read, update and then delete posts, of course. But the update, delete and then the create, it is only a restricted privilege of registered users. If you are an unregistered user, you can only read the post and that is all. You can also filter the post by categories. There is also a powerful search uh, engine for you to search through the post by even by where's in the post itself or by the title or by the author. Yes, you can set by all of them. You can also give your comments about the post. And also, if you are a registered user, you can edit and delete your comments. But if you are a registered user, you can't do that. And you can also share your post by email. And I'll do a demonstration shortly for you to see uh, the message actually in my inbox. So let me take you through what it can do. Right now, I have some sample posts here. Uh, you can see the postcard is the title of the post. And then the author, the date, and the number of comments that the post has. These posts, I generated them with a chat GPT. So I'm currently logged in. Let me sign out and then try logging in as a new user. I have three users currently using the platform. Of course, it's still local host. Um, carry mounts, code base, and then poor mails all generated randomly. Any resemblance to actual person is a pure coincidence. So let me just try and then um, attempt a, a wrong login. I will see that I have an error that tells me that something went wrong. Username and password do not match. But this time around, I will authenticate as carry mount, and then I'm in. You see that the nav bar has changed. Now I'm able to create posts. So I said that the create post is only a privilege of registered users. I'll not create the post here instantly, but I will. Uh, I'll create it later on. So. This is the site where we can search for posts. Let's say you want to search for, um, I've heard, I've heard uh, there is a post on Galaxy about the lunar mission. So let me just search the word lunar and then hit enter. And then I see that it, it was even able to search for it and then return only L-U-N-A from the title. And that is how powerful the search engine is. I can also say, oh, maybe I know um, Carrie, Carrie's post are, uh, really interesting but i've forgotten her name let me just say mount but i remember the word mount i just type mount and i see that all the posts by carry mount are popped up uh here of course she has two posts uh, at, at the moment everybody has two the three users everybody has two so that is also a powerful feature of the set i will not go so much into details um, when we build it you can try it out at your end it's very powerful and also we can filter the post by category. So if I click on technology and science, I see that all the posts in that category pop up over here. I can also try by environment, which doesn't have some at the moment. I can try by travel and adventure, I see it here. I can try by health and wellness also has one. And yes, so we can also filter the post by categories if we want to. Here we list the recent posts, I think five of them or so. So the most recent ones we have. And if we click on any of the continue reading, it's really actually take us to this post page. And then here we can read through the posts. And if there is any post by similar categories, it will show, I think the Artemis Lunar Mission, this one has similar categories, it's like it's showing here. Uh, but I'll go back and probably choose a post without comments none of them at the moment but i can let me see um impact of intelligent uh, transport systems this one has only one comment but no post by similar category which um is no problem at all now i'm logged in as carrymount so the comment session is, is is automatically fills in my name and i cannot edit it but if i'm an unregistered user this place will allow me to type a name that i want to uh Add to my comment. So, um, Carrie actually gave a comment on her own post. Uh, um, she thinks it's an interest. Uh, she think it isn't, it isn't a future thing. It is in use now. Okay, so let's say that I've also read through. Um, but I'm actually logged in as Carrie Mount again. So let me log out. 
log back in as code base. And open that same post. So now you see that now I'm logging in as Tommy's code base and carry actually gave the comment. Um, let me also give my comment. I agree. Um, and I can even add some emojis if I want to. So carry, I agree with you. And then I post. Now you see that the post that had one comment now has two comments. And when I scroll down here, I'll see my comment that was posted zero minutes ago. Of course, it's very fresh. Um, this editor is a bug. We'll fix it. And it, once the post is mine, I can choose to, the comment, I can choose to edit the comment. Or I can even choose to delete it with this beautiful delete page and pop up. But I will not do any of them at the moment. Or oh, let me just try and then uh, let me first edit it so I know that the edit works. I agree with you. Edited. And then update comments. And now I come back and start. Agree with you. Edited is here. But I can also choose to delete it. Yes, delete. I come back. The post has only one comment. So it also works that way. Uh, at least we know that the comment side is also working. We can also visit the, the profile of the author of the post by just clicking on the post, uh, the author here. And here at the profile page, if I am authenticated as Paul Mills, as you see an edit profile button here that will lead me to a page that will help, uh, allow me to edit my profile if I want to. But because I am authenticated as code base, I cannot see the edit um button or the edit link here but i can see all the posts by this particular user also listed here i can choose to read any of them um yes so let me get a post that was written by me code base and see uh, tell, show you what i was trying to say now you see that this edit profile is here i can go here and then edit my profile but i will i will not do that at the moment um uh, you see that my post also, because I created it, I can now choose to edit them or I can choose to also even delete them, but I will not delete it. And um, you see that when I was on Paul Mills' uh, profile, I couldn't see the edit and delete because I am not the owner of the post. I can only uh, read it. So uh, I think the next feature now to show you is the share post by mail. Um, the share post by mail. Uh, we can also... You can also um, sign up. Yeah, there's a, a portion for us to sign up. If you're a new user, uh, you can choose to log in if you are already uh, a user. But uh, let me log in back quickly as um, Codebase will do. Let me log in and then try to share a post by mail. So this continue really uh, this um, the evolution and impact of intelligent transport systems. Let me say I want to share it by mail. So I click on share post by mail. Um, there is a bug here. Let me fix it quickly and come back to this page. All right, so I fixed the bug. Um, I was actually trying out um, when I was building the um, alert, the alert card. Um, I had to disable some features to make sure that I'm, I'm able to see it. But I think now if we click on it, yes, I'm able to see it now. If I fill in this particulars now, I can share this mail uh and the person will actually have it in his or her mail so i'll fill in the particulars and then i'll share it so that you see it in real time how this thing works and whether it works or not you see it so let me fill in well, let me say the name here is um tommy code base and then i'll uh, for, for my emails um i'll I will not show it to the screen, so but I will fill in the actual emails here because I'm I send in an actual mail. So Here I can give some comments about the post. I think this will 
catch your attention. And then now what I will do is to lay this um, browser and then I've opened my mail also. I'll open them side by side so that you see how the mail comes in in real time. Okay, so I have my app at the left and my inbox at the right. Um, it comes to the spam because, of course, it's coming from localhost and it cannot really be trusted. But it can, if I click on share post now, so that it says email was sent successfully to the mail I provided. Now, let me wait for some time, I'll probably refresh. Okay, this time around, it didn't come, uh, it didn't go to the spam, it came to the inbox, primary inbox, so you can see it here at the top. Uh, let me click on it. And you see that it says it was sent one minute ago, just, yes, in real time. And then it says, Tommy's code base recommends that you read blah, blah, blah. The, the, that was the post that we shared if we go back. You see that it says navigating the future, the evolution and impact of intelligent transport systems. Um, so that was the post. And that is the same thing here. So I can click on this link here in the mail and then it opens up in this browser. So let me say that I want to give a comment now here. I'm using a dark mode in this browser. So that's why you see everything as dark. But if I say I am a recommend, uh, let me just say anonymous my name is um anonymous yeah i just want to keep that name and i say oh thank you tommy for for recommending it i liked it let me give you some emoji and then post comments I have been able to post my comment. You see that is here. It's a thank you for Tommy for recommending it. I liked it. Let me come back to the post itself inside here. Now I've not refreshed it, so you see it says one comment. Fantastic. Let me refresh this page now. You see that it says two comments, and then the comment here from Anonymous posted zero minutes ago comes in from the mail that uh, from the message that was mailed or was shared by mail, and then we have it now here in our application. So this is what we are going to build uh, from here. You explore a lot of features also, uh, probably things I was not able to mention in this demo. So um, consider subscribing if you are new, like if you haven't subscribed, just please subscribe and then turn on notifications uh, because there's going to be so much interesting series, interesting videos, even in this series and even in the ones, uh, the series also to come. And if you like it also, just be sure to give it a thumbs up. It gives me a lot of motivation to create amazing content. So thank you for your time. I will see you in the next video where we start building this thing from the complete scratch.